when did you get to know Susan Mutami? So Susan, uh, yes, uh, Susan, um, I, uh, I knew Susan in um, October, October 2020, when she wanted to donate uh, some, um, some machines uh, to the Norton uh, constituency hospital machines, which she was going around doing that. So um, she also identified Norton as one of the places that um, needed some uh, equipment uh, to improve the health care of the constituency, which was a noble idea, which remains a noble idea. So that's basically how I got to meet her, and uh, which was through my PA, uh, Josephine uh, Kuti, who was liaising with her in terms of us meeting. That's when um, when I we looked at it, we said, okay, it's a good thing. Let's go for it. We were also impressed that the Australian embassy was involved. So once you have an embassy involved, you are also convinced that this thing is above board and you cannot, uh, you cannot ignore the involvement of, a, of an embassy. An embassy is a country itself. They represent their countries. So her being in Australia, the, the Australian ambassador being involved, you would not doubt that. Then we, we then facilitated for that. She came to see me in my office. That's when you see a picture of me and her with, uh, with the president behind. That was my office as usual, courtesy call, to try and strategize and see how best we could go about things. And this is when she then told me that it was very difficult for her to have uh, 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 come to Norton because most of the people were against that idea and so forth. One of the reasons was most of this equipment was being donated to a lot of Zambia PF constituencies. So there was an imbalance. So not only would be the balance at the end of the day to try and see uh, equitable distribution of this despite the political issue. So it was to more or less uh, 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 show people that health was not just for Zambia PF, but for others too. And um, not on what was lacking that I'm independent and so forth. Whether they were going to go to other constituencies involving the opposition, that's that's for another day. But uh, she was very clear that uh, I had people fighting me. She was very clear to me that uh, she had uh, gone to uh, to higher offices to get the go ahead because people like uh, Honorable Owen uh, 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 Mude uh, July Moe, who she uh, was very clear to me, she was close with them, uh, were, were, were totally against this. But uh, at some point, there was an approval for, for this to, to thing happen. In fact, she actually told me herself that she had engaged the president, and the president had uh, said, but go to Norton and so forth. I didn't check, uh, I didn't do my research, and uh, but I then said, okay, that's good. So I then realized that enemies in uh, Honorable Owen uh, Muda Nui and Honorable Jujulai Moyo after her presentation to me, because she was working with them, she was very clear that they knew each other from Kwekwe, they'd worked together and so forth. So I, I, I then, like I say, realized that some enemies. And of course, when you know your enemies, you want to know more about them. So you get closer to the one with information. That's for another day. Let me stop there. Also, so this is 2020 and not not 2007, not way back then when this incident happened. And uh, I mean, they, they knew the latest incidents that Miss um, Mutami is talking about. But I'm not going to go deviate into any of that, those things. Sir. I would like to talk about you because we have a serious allegation against you as a member of parliament. And... Uh, that accusation there is very, very um, uh, criminal in nature and in supposition. Um, you, you agree, sir? You see, uh, I'm a public figure and I represent uh, 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 people. I represent the nation. I'm a father of 19. If the DNA comes through with uh, Miss Mtami's son, uh, there will be 20. But out of those kids, 14 are girls. And um, you'd appreciate that I'm very much protective over, over, over the girls because of the number which I have. And because of that, I have a vested interest 
I run a scholarship uh, with so many students, some young underprivileged, the girl child I promote and all that. Uh, tertiary institutions, I do that. My children too have got their friends who come, spend weekends at home and so forth. So I, I don't believe in quiet diplomacy. I realize politics uh, uh, is dirty, but it's the people who are dirty. Politics itself is not dirty. We are going uh, towards elections. We're heading towards elections. So I, I had a number of calls from people, messages telling me, no, Temba, don't dignify this. Don't talk about it. But these people forget that they were the very same people who were listening to Susan the other day. You had over 12, 14,000 people. And uh, if you calculate, uh, 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 if you calculate 12,000, uh, Okay, 12,000 uh, 12, uh, times 365 days. The reason why I'm putting to 365 days is uh, 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 people can go and register to vote. So that gives you 4.3 4. million. Hello, Simba, can you hear me? Perfectly, sir. So, so that gives you 4.3 million. So these are 14,000 people who, if we had them coming out to register to vote, for 15, 30 minutes, but for three hours, at least, they were listening. So uh, you need to also read the mood of the people, the language of the people, that we have a, a nation which is polarized, we have a nation which likes gossip, and so forth. So as a politician, if you're not there when you're being discussed, then you suffer the aspect of damage control. And uh, I thought I would face this head on as usual, and because one day my children will ask me that, but dad, you in this year uh, raped a Form 2 girl. She had an abortion. She died. And I've got all these uh, 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 other people who follow me. I've got relatives, uh, a scholarship that I run. So to me, you cannot ignore that because the Zimbabweans are the very same people. At a rally one day, they'll ask you, but oh, you were accused of this and you did not respond. The last time, there was an accusation that I'd infected a young girl with HIV and then I went for a live blood testing, as you remember, at the aid center so that people know that I am not like that. Whether you throw it there and so forth, listen, there are things worth ignoring, there are things you must respond to and so forth. And, uh, 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 and, and of course, because I've got 19 children, People believe and they've got the mindset that Melissa is very promiscuous, yet it's a choice and it's a gift to have all those children and so forth. It's my decision not to marry. It's my decision to have these lovely kids and look after them and so forth. They're my life. That's what I believe in. I don't believe in marriage right now, but once I'm in it, I've got to do the right things. It's a sacred institution. So I'm not a hypocrite to myself. I have peace of mind. So this is a damaging issue which there's got to be evidence. And uh, what you must understand is that I want to applaud Ms. Mtami for the raising uh, issues of child abuse. But let's not just raise issues of child abuse without substantiating those claims. So I've come you, up... You, you, really, you really applaud her, sir? Listen, to me, as long as you can substantiate the claims, are you with me? There's a different thing talking about them, there's a, another thing of substantiating what you've spoken about. So it's a total package. Talking without evidence does not mean anything. You have talked, where is the evidence? That's what I'm getting to at the end of the day. We don't want a situation where people think that they can just uh, 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 destroy people's reputation, integrity, and, uh, and dignity. Uh, some of these issues you don't buy over the counter. You don't buy your integrity or dignity and, uh, in, uh, 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 and so forth, new morals and principles over the counter. You earn them after a while and so forth. And no matter what I earn, I, I speak against people. And many a times people have tried to throw mud at me, but the mud doesn't stick. The same way in parliament, I was accused of wanting to bribe Goddard until he came through and he said nothing like that ever happened. So, so I'm used to it. So this, again, is an opportunity for me to say, Brave enough, Ms. Mtami, you have uh, 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 given a lot of accusations uh, 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 about 
you being abused by the president uh, uh, and, and you've been bold to talk about it and uh, and you've said a lot of things uh, uh, and uh, whether they're right or not that's what we want to wait for is there evidence or is hearsay